Hi, everybody. It's Rebecca, Crafting Journey with Rebecca. How is everybody tonight? Oh, my goodness. Um, ooh, I'm pulling up the live. Let me turn my volume down so we don't get any, like, echoes in here. Only because um, rather than look over here at the computer here, I'm going to look here at the chat. It's a little easier. So... Robert, you were first. Yay. This is in my way. How's the volume? I mean, everything good on the volume? GMR. Hey, how are you? And Jill. Hi, guys. So it has been a very busy Saturday for me. Uh, yeah, I just, um, you know, I got the... Um, loom knitting that I started the other day and I finished the first four rows. Um, well, I'm almost done with row four. And each one of those rows is different. I picked a doozy of a loom knitting pattern because like I said, each of the four rows is different. And then when you're done with the fourth row, you're supposed to repeat all four of those rows 55 times. I'm like, good God. How do I get myself into these things? So, I mean, it's just going to be one of those patterns where I really have to pay attention to what I'm doing. And that, do I do like loom knitting, Robert. I enjoy it very, very much. You get the stitches very even and... Um, I don't know. It goes pretty quickly. It really does. I've made a few hats. Oh, hi, Melissa. I'm so glad you're here. She's working and lurking tonight on call at work. So she might have to leave. Oh, I remember those days when you had a, a delivery of a bad baby and you had to run in there. Oh, gosh. I remember those days. We had to transfer it. Oh, man. Yeah. I hope you don't have to go in. That would really be bad. Uh, okay. I hope you guys are all signed up for the mystery diamond painting. Robert, are you signed up? Because I think you would enjoy it. I do. Having to diamond paint something that you don't know what it is. It is super fun. <laughs> GMR says, oh, geez, I need another craft. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody asked me today. What else do you do besides diamond paint? I'm like, oh, my God. Actually, they didn't put it that way. They're like, oh, so you just diamond paint. I'm like, no, I don't just diamond paint. <laughs> oh, Mystery is signed up. Hi, Mystery. She's here. Oh, I'm so happy. That's my new best friend, Melissa. Okay, Kathy Mosher. Hi. Oh, Mystery just signed up. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it when other people come in. So I am working on Dreamer Designs, Find Soft Day. Let me um, show you guys. Unless, I mean, if you're following on Instagram, you've seen it. If you're not, let me show you what I've got. This is this is what I have left. So it was it's 40 by 120. So this is my DP, get your big on. But here's what I've finished so far. Let's just unroll it. Okay, so this is what I've got done so far. And it is so gorgeous. Look at this house. Don't you want to live here? It's gorgeous. And then it's got this beautiful path that goes up. It's so gorgeous. And the, I put some ABs into the lamp. I don't know if you can tell. And what's really cool, so right now I'm working up in this area here. And this is day 18 of working on this. But there's days, like I'm counting total days. So there's some days in those 18 days where I didn't really do anything. Um, so, I mean, 18 days from start till where I am today. Oh, Mystery has been following on Instagram. Awesome. I don't know if you saw the, oh, I was so flattered. The artist, Liam Kelly, that did this painting, she put an Instagram post um, 
with music. You know, she put my a picture of the painting, and then she put music that um, "Living on a Prayer." You know, because you know, halfway there, I just thought it was so cute. First of all, it's so cool that this person is following me on Instagram. <laughs> But I think she's really uh, thrilled to see her painting, you know, in a diamond form, her artwork. Okay, so I am, let me get my, I'm using Crashly's pen. I say Crashly's pen, Kerwin made this pen. This is the one with, uh, where they had the gnome off. This is one of the gnomes. Um, my dog ate the one Crashly made. <laughs> There were little gnomes all over the dog bed. Is, is, oh, yeah, Jake is here. He's right down there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Hold on. He He's so cute. He comes in here and gets comfortable. Let's see. There he is. Right there. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's not asleep yet, but he will be. Robert says, it's hard for me to buy diamond paintings for other people. You do, I not know. And my mom would not, would not that. Oh, she wouldn't like that. Okay, Robert. Well, I mean, I understand the situation that you're in. And um, yeah, I got it. Hey, Robert, you know, I'm going to text you offline. Maybe you and I can work something out because, um, you know, I want you to be able to participate. But I understand um, why your mom might not want you to, but maybe we can talk offline. Send me um, a, a, a message on Messenger. Send it to Rebecca Schilling and let's talk because I want you to have some fun with us. Susan, hello. Oh my goodness. Um, so... I will be exchanging paintings with my collab partner, which is, and it's just, my mind is just drawing a blank. Um, Mickey Sunshine, <laughs> where is she? I tried to get a hold of her today. I hope she's okay. Suzanne says, I didn't sign up. I know you were on the fence. Come on, you got a one week left to think about it. So keep thinking about it. Is there a question that I can answer for you? What, I mean, what is your hesitation, sweetie? So um, I'm having surgery on Wednesday. So instead of the craft with me Wednesday, I will be having a premiere that I worked all day on today. Well, I got it filmed. I don't have it edited yet, but I filmed um, making the apple butter. So it'll be pandemic apple butter. And it turned out really good. I'm taking a bunch of it over to my son's house tomorrow um, because they'll eat it much faster than I will. Suzanne says YouTubers wanted to pair up with YouTubers. Well, I, uh, a couple did, but you know, um, I let. Jennifer Roberts and Brian Chef Elliot pair up together because they had already been planning to do a mystery diamond exchange just between the two of them. And rather than double up, you know, they wanted to participate in the event, but they still wanted to do their own collab. So they are, um, so I let them pair up together. Um, and then the reason that, you know, Mickey and I are pairing up is because, you know, we're doing the collab. Um, but other than that, you know, nobody is paired up right now. So I don't know if it's a YouTuber with another YouTuber. I mean, I'm, it's going to be totally random as to who gets with who. In fact, there aren't that many YouTubers signed up. It's mostly subscribers, to be honest with you, Suzanne. Diamond painting with Beth. Hello, everyone. How are you today? So, Suzanne, I, I'm, please don't worry about that, honey. It's, um, yeah, 
it's just that one instance. There was another person that requested to be made, uh, you know, put with another YouTuber, but, um, you know, I, I explained to them that it, it would be better if they, if we did it random and they understood and they, they're, um, you know, they're going to go with the randomness of it. There's Brian Diamond Painting Elliot. How, why did you take the chef out of your name, Brian? <laughs> He's no longer got chef in his name. So Brian, I made the apple butter. I was just telling them it's going to premiere Wednesday um, during my craft with me Wednesday time slot, you know, since I'm having surgery that day. Um, so I may not be in the premiere or I might, you know, if I feel okay, because I'm like the first surgery of the day. So if I'm feeling okay, okay, I'll pop in. But um, yeah, I made the apple butter. It turned out fantastic. Robert says, I do not have messenger, but thanks you for the offer. You're welcome, Robert. Therese, hello. Suzanne says, also, every moment just raise the prices. They are others that keep talking about being paired. They are, uh, there are others. Uh, no, they're not paired. I don't know who's talking about it. But, you know, everything on AliExpress has either raised their prices or they're charging shipping or both. Um, it's crazy right now. It's really crazy. I went to buy something the other day um, that was, you know, the to I bought two of this, the, the item, and it would have totaled like 20 something dollars. And when I went to check out, it was $48. And I'm like, what? $48 for what? And the other 20 something dollars was for the daggum shipping. I'm like, oh my God. So, I mean, the shipping right now is super crazy. You know, I'm an affiliate with Treasure Studios Arts and Rachel now has to charge for shipping. Um, she's she's doing like a one time, you know, a nine, I think it's $9.95 per, you know, but per order or something like that. But it, and it's hopefully very temporary. Hopefully this whole mess is just temporary because the prices are ridiculous. But Suzanne, I mean, it's totally up to you, you know. Robin, how are you? We have not had coffee. Come to coffee tomorrow morning. We're going to have some coffee in our messenger chat. Come, you know, get your Starbucks and come on in. You can take out 10 minutes out of your day to say hi to us. Suzanne says, I hope your surgery goes well. Thank you. Me too. Because I am done with this knee. I have had it. I Man, I just can't do it anymore. Um, so I'm hoping like, you know, they put the partial replacement in and I walk out of there like the bionic woman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but that's what, that's my hope. <laughs> Elizabeth Hansen. I don't think I've seen you. I'm new here. Well, welcome. I really don't talk much, but I'm here diamond painting along. Well, I am so glad to have you. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I do lives twice a week, and um, I think you'll really enjoy it here. Lots of great people. Oh, my goodness. And who else is here? Suzanne said, I dislocated both my knees since I was a child, so I understand knee pain. Ow. I bet that hurt. <laughs> wow. How in the world did you do that? I'm afraid to ask. She sounds like a daredevil. So little Richard died today and I keep, I keep that song keeps running through my head, you know, tutti fruity. Oh, Rudy. I keep singing it. Oh, Jen's in the house. Hey, Jen, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Oh my God. Your daughter was so cute last night, sneaking in there behind. She didn't want to be on camera, I guess. <laughs> that was so funny. She like crawled down on the floor to get past you. It was pretty funny. 
She was on the phone. You're on the phone with your mom every Saturday night. I love that. I hope you, are you doing something with mom tomorrow? Are you able to, or are you still like housebound? Rajul. Oh my God. Rajul, where have you been? Good evening, Miss Rebecca and everyone in the chat. You have not been here in a month of Sundays. I hope everything's okay. Oh, your state's apart. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Because tomorrow's Mother's Day. I'm actually going down the road to my son's house, son and daughter-in-law's house for breakfast. And then, of course, I'm bringing Malia home to stay with me for a few weeks. That should be fun. Which means we are stopping at the grocery store to get stuff that she likes to eat. Because she doesn't like anything that I have here. You had to come support your woman. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Rajul says, I'm fine. And the family is at home. Good. That's good. We just haven't seen you in a while. We missed you. So tonight's special guest. Oh, my God. You guys. It's the principal painter, Kara. I'm so excited. This lady is awesome. Awesome. I am meeting so many cool people. Oh, my goodness. I always practice on Saturdays, so I get to sit down and talk with uh, my guests just one-to-one. -one, and, wow, you guys are awesome. Try not to mess this up because I... I already put the wrong drills down once today and it wasn't a total disaster. I was, I was able to, to fix it, but, but I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and that's what happens. Mystery says me too, Jennifer. I'm always going to support my girl, Rebecca. Oh, Mystery, you're so sweet. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer says, make sure Malia knows no weird colored pancakes. No, man, she made that blue banana bread. And I got to tell you, that stuff was delicious. She She's becoming a really good cook. And she's making something tonight. She won't tell anybody what it is. But when I was on the phone with my son, he says, oh, God, Mom, I got to go to the store. Malia needs heavy cream. I'm like, oh, good God, for what? And, he, and she's like, he's like, oh, she won't tell us. I'm like, oh, dear. So then he calls me back about 15 minutes later. And he's like, Mom, now where in the world in this grocery store would I find heavy cream? <laughs> he didn't have a clue. Not a clue. So I had to direct him to the uh, area where heavy cream would be. And then he still couldn't find it. So I'm surmising that they were out of it. But I just thought that was hilarious. Mom, where's the heavy cream? See, he still depends on his mother. Isn't that sweet? Yes, Jen, it's Care Bear tonight. Yes. Who gave her that name? Was that Crashly that gave her that name? I forget. Robert says, thank you for showing all your live love you a lot for, for everything you do for diamond painting videos. Oh, God, Robert, you guys are just like going to make me uh, cry. Stop it. <laughs> Yvonne is here. Yay. Hello, y'all. Robin. So sorry. I haven't been around. I've been really busy with the kids. They only have one week left of homeschooling. So does that mean what? They're off for the summer or they're just, they're not going back to school. What's this? It's mid-May. Are they, does that mean they're off for the summer? That'll give you a little bit of a break, Robin. Mystery said, just think it's almost over, Robin. Jen says, 23 here and only six lights. Oh, I, I was, I'm trying to count. What is she counting? Oh, she's counting people. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> yes, I am at 700 plus subscribers. I am so thrilled, you guys. I don't even, I used to watch the sub count all the time. And now I don't pay, pay any attention to it anymore. I mean, I used to say, you know, people who don't look at their numbers of subscribers, they're lying. Yes, I still look, but not as often as I used to. But, you know, 
And I get a lot of views on my videos, which I think is more important than the number of subscribers. And like I said, you guys are gonna love the quarantine or the pandemic apple butter recipe that's coming out Wednesday. It turned out awesome. So Tree says, we have four more weeks of school in Minnesota. <laughs> She's sighing. <laughs> Crane, hey, honey. How are you? Okay, so they are off for the summer. Yes. Okay. Well, that means then you will be able to join us for coffee. But I'm thinking, um, wow, I don't know when we're ever going to get to go back to work. Like, I mean, personally, I don't, you know, I'm sure everybody's wondering the same thing. But like, I was there the other day for a meeting. And I mean, the subject didn't even come up. So I don't know. And then I'm going to go work in the office on Tuesdays just so I can bring my, um, the girl that does the same thing I do. She's going to cover for me and I need to like, just bring her up to speed on my cases and um, make sure that I'm not, you know, I'm up. Everything's caught up before I go out. Um, am I done with this color? I think I am. Except for, oh, no, I'm not. Okay. So where was I going with that? Oh, so I'm thinking by the time I take a few weeks off to, for the surgery, you know, our office will be open again. Because I am horrible at working from home. I'm, I will be the first to admit it. I just suck at it because I've got my computer here, my diamond painting here, which is, uh, yeah, I shouldn't, but, and that I'm being facetious, but you know, I would rather be diamond painting than working. <laughs> so, so I'll do a little diamond painting and then I'll do a little work and then I'll, you know, like I'll go take a nap and I'm terrible at working at home. If I get, if I have an office to go to, then I'm not tempted to diamond paint and then I'm not tempted to nap. So yeah, it's a problem, people. It's real. Robin says that she still has to work from home with her husband. Oh, speaking of working from home, did you guys see that video I posted today? It was so funny about the guy that didn't wear any pants to the, the meeting and forgot to turn his camera off when the meeting was done. Oh my God, that was hilarious. And all of his coworkers are watching him scratch his butt. It was, and so one of his coworkers calls him and says, you know, you're still on camera <laughs> and he runs out of the room. <laughs> that was funny, super funny. Luckily, my work computer does not have a camera on it. Thank God. So we've had work meetings, but they've all just been audio. Yay. Because I don't want nobody seeing me running around with no bra on. Mr. Rebecca, you already had my mouth watering earlier when you talked about the apple butter. Now I really want some toast with apple butter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I didn't, you know, I haven't edited the video yet because tomorrow morning we're going, I'm going over to my son's house and I'm taking the Bisquick with me and I'm going to make biscuits. Um, super easy. And then I will film, you know, like a little, family gathering with the biscuits and um, the apple butter. And so you get a little bit of, you'll get to see my family, which will be cool. Jen says, don't tell the granddaughter where the whoopie pies are. Jen, do you think there's any whoopie pies left? Seriously? Well, there's one left. I found it the other day. I guess I didn't realize that I had one left. <laughs> she's saying it like I haven't been eating them myself come on I have gained so much freaking weight it's ridiculous I looked at myself naked in the mirror the other day it was really an ugly naked really Robert said he's just about done with the cat and burns diamond painting yay Robert that's awesome 
I know you're still wait, waiting on your others from Amazon, but wow, you're just moving along fast. Therese, I may or may not diamond paint during meetings that I am not leading. Oh, uh -oh. I will never tell. <laughs> Nareda. Hey, Nareda. Nareda is working on, she's finishing up the coolest diamond painting ever. I've seen it before. I forget who else did it, but it's that lady with the red hair and um, is there an orange in it? I forget, but it's such a cool diamond painting. She's It's very colorful and she's almost done with it. Shine like a diamond. Hey, Beth, how are you? Nice to have you here. Rachel, Nicole, you are new. Welcome. I've given up wearing a bra for the last few months, but I'll go back to work on Monday. Oh, you got to dig out those bras, honey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jen said she was being optimistic. Yes. Well, there is still some banana bread in the freezer. I haven't eaten all the banana bread. I have not eaten all of the bread pudding. There's still stuff, but the whoopie pies somehow just didn't last because you can eat those things like straight out of the freezer and they're delicious. So Robert says, I did get one from Amazon and two more are on the way. Yes, it has an orange in it. Yes, that's what I was thinking. See, everybody knows which one it is, Nareda. Mystery is asking you, Shine, Beth, if you have a um, a live tonight. Didn't you do a live this morning? I, 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 I'm terrible. I wasn't even awake yet, and I saw this live from Beth, and I so I went into it, and I just. I kept thinking, oh, no, this this is a recording. She did this some other time. She's not live right now because I really wasn't awake. I hadn't had any coffee. And um, so were you live this morning or was I just like seeing things? I, seriously, I went into her. I went into her live or I think I thought I thought it was live. And then I thought, no, this is recorded. So I don't know I, if it was, if it was live, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had to get to the dogs out. No live this morning. Okay. So it wasn't a lot. It was recorded. Okay. Cause I saw that and I went right in and I'm thinking, okay, I'm here. <laughs> I got to like put that stuff away before I have my coffee. No iPad before you have your coffee. Jen says, all of our videos are a dream. None of it's true. You're living in the matrix. Oh, so true. So true. All right, I'm going to bring in my guest because she's sitting backstage. Are you ready? Care Bear. Are you ready? Okay, she's ready. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rebecca. How, How are you are tonight? You? I'm doing well, just beeping away. And I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much, Rebecca, for even thinking of me to do this. I'm, I'm very honored and I have met so many amazing people in this community and they've been so nice to me. And again, I don't want to name names, but um, this is this is an honor. And um, thank you so much for doing this and having yeah. You're so welcome and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I love featuring like small businesses, you know, people, new creators. I, you know, I want everybody to, to get to know you because you're terrific. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say how I found Care Bear. Um. <laughs> that was Crashly. That was Crashly. So. <laughs> oh, she named you? She did name me, yes. So I oh, was okay, her, okay. Slash care bear slash Kara. I answer to almost anything these days. Well, yeah, you know, I had seen you in a few uh, chats, and then I saw one of your videos one day, one of your thumbnails, and I think I pointed it out to you. Uh huh. The one that looked like a penis. Yes. <laughs> and I, I've, I, you've been on my radar ever since because that was hilarious because you'd had no idea. 
Well, again, Crashly was the one that said, uh, Kara, you should get a channel. And then others started saying it. I'm like, I don't have a channel. I don't have a channel. And Crashly said, you have a channel. And I'm going, no, I, I don't, I don't have a channel. And she's like, I've been communicating with you through your channel. And I'm going, what? Really? So yeah, I had a channel and didn't know it already had like four or five subscribers and had done nothing, <laughs> no videos, nothing. I'm like, why are people following me? I've done nothing, but it was pretty funny. So that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, people want to know what you're working on. I am working on Miss Melody. You can see that. Um, I had to change my phone out because the rigging system I had to just show my hands and not my face did not work out. And so, you know, you adapt, you overcome. And so this is what I'm doing. But yes, I'm working on Melody for the Melodies of May. I'm doing a collab with Mindy's Diamond Moment and Kiss My Crafts. And so... That's what I'm working on. Oh, you have got to explain what you're putting on your face there. Now, go ahead and put it on because what is that? These are my complete nerd magnification glasses, right? Um, I need them because I have old eyes and need to see. Also, I know Jen is on here and she's going to be cracking up. Um, I decided to do my hair and a little put a little bit of makeup on tonight because I think she lost 5,000 subscribers because I got on her live last night and I was scary looking. So <laughs> she, over, she told me she could rebuild. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, do you have prescription glasses normally and that's just magnifying or? Yes. And readers, I just don't find it be that effective. I got these and they're supposed to light up, but I don't even, I mean, because I have a light pad and most of us do, these just magnify a little bit and save my eyes from the strain. So yeah. Oh, these that's are awesome. Readers. They're, they're, and, you know, again, they're actually glasses that you can wear for, you know, small projects. So they really help me. That would be great for my cross stitch. Yes. And like I said today, I've, I've got to get back into my cross stitch. I used to be a really avid cross stitcher and I, I haven't done it in a while. So I got to get, I got to get back into my supplies and see what I've got and, and start that. Cause I really enjoyed that. Oh, Jen says, um, that's okay. I built you back up. We're all good. You can always come back. <laughs> Love you girl. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad she's built up again. Cause it was, Oh, she was like, get on my live. And I'm going, um, you really don't want me on your live. Yeah, you right. never know when somebody's going to want you to pop in. So, you know, I don't put makeup on. So, but I'm sure you look just fine. Well, I, man, I need a better camera rig that just shows my hands when I don't want to be seen. <laughs> and last night I did not want to be seen at all. So the, the one you showed me earlier tonight, that didn't work out? Um, no, no, no. I'm working. Well, again, that, I, I think I showed you Melody and then I showed you my mermaid from Robin of Distracted by Diamonds and they're both working out fine. No, I meant the camera that you showed me. Oh yeah, that did not work out. I put my phone on it and it just kept sagging and Marlon and I kept trying to rig it up and it didn't work. And he was like, just go with your phone and show. I had a feeling that wasn't going to, it wasn't going to fly. Yeah. I just need to bite the bullet and buy a tripod and just get a camera and a tripod and move on. I actually, you're not going to believe this. I have three tripods. I have, wow. uh, you know, the first one I bought because I thought, well, I need a tripod. So I bought this big old, I mean, the big tripod, the big one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I never. I got, I, I'm moving because my camera or my phone is low battery. So I'm going to plug it in real quick. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> oh, Mystery says, Kara, if you could see me this morning in all my undone glory, you're a thousand times more gorgeous, girl. <laughs> oh. Mystery I can't tell you the last time I put on some makeup. Good God. <laughs> well, I try. Okay. Let me see if I can rig this up. Oh, yay. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're back. So then I have another tripod that's like half that size. And then I have this teeny tiny tripod that's like four inches that I use for close up stuff. I just need one that goes over my shoulder. I mean, I know that's probably like a floor tripod, maybe. I, I'm 
so new to this. I don't even know, but I'm like, honey, we've just got to go to Best Buy and buy a camera that's, you know, economical, but does the job like a phone and a tripod. Cause I mean, there are times when I'm fine with showing my face and everything else, but there are also times when I want to, I want people to see what I'm working on. And what's irritating to me tonight is I know people want to see what I'm working on and all they're going to see is me and my nerd glasses looking down, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how you got into diamond painting. Were you doing any crafts before that? You said you'd done cross stitch. Done cross stitch. Um, you know, I, I'm not a crafty person. My mother was a crafty person and I know you've probably seen me do some mom Mondays. Um, she was an extremely crafty person and, you know, got me into it and, um, I loved it, but I just wasn't that great at it and kind of stopped after I did cross stitching. And then one day, of course, Facebook gets you every time, every <laughs> time it's spooky because it figures out what you kind of look at and don't and whatever. And all of a sudden I, you know, I'm getting these ads for diamond painting and I'm going, what is, what is this? You know? And, um, so I went ahead at that point and got a kit. It was a small kit off of Amazon. It had three paintings in it. And I'll, I'll never forget the very first diamond painting I did. It was probably a 15 by 15. It was very small because I wanted, of course, to check to make sure I liked it. And it was a picture of a bicycle with flowers in the basket in the front. It said, life is a beautiful journey. And um, I thought that was pretty prolific because ever since I've started this, I, I've just met really beautiful people and had so much fun. And just, again, people have been so kind to me and nice. And I could ask a stupid question. You know, again, everybody knows I'm the principal painter. I'm a principal. And, you know, I always tell my staff. People come into our schools and they're brand new. They've just moved, they're in boxes, they don't have electricity on, whatever. And they may ask you the same questions over and over again. And we need to treat them like that's the first time we've heard that question because we'll make a friend for life and just help them out. And that's what people have done with me. And I know people like you and, you know, just so many people have treated me again so kindly and acted like my questions were the first time they'd ever heard it. And I'm certain inside they're going, Oh my God, the same question again, but no. <laughs> it's, it's been awesome. It's been no, awesome. It's just because we've all been in that same boat. We were asking those same questions, you know, eight months ago, you know, I don't think anybody's been doing this crap that long. It hasn't been around that long, but right. you know, we just, it just brings back memories of, you know, <laughs> You know, like you trying to set up your camera. Oh my gosh, the things I have tried with the camera. And yeah, well, I'm then crashly going, You have a you have a channel. And I'm going, No, I don't have a channel. What are you what are you talking? Yeah, you got people here. I'm going, Really? Okay. And I've heard other people say that. They'll say, you know, I don't have a channel, but I have subscribers. How is that possible? So I'm not I think sure. When you log on to YouTube, they possibly just automatically create you a channel. And I was joking with Crashly the first time she told me that on one of her lives. I'm like, I'm the Paris Hilton of diamond painters because I've done nothing and I have subscribers. How is that possible? <laughs> Mystery says, Jennifer, I'm new to some technology, so I don't know why that I call that arm. I don't know what they call that arm thingy. Oh, I don't know what you call that either. Right. It's an arm thingy. That's what we'll call it, and we'll be fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> so knee surgery. I will tell you, Rebecca, I have had two to three teachers have this knee surgery, and they were good to go like a couple of weeks later. Of course, they were down for healing time and everything else, but they felt instant relief. Were those like partials or? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. And um, again, they they were instantly relieved when they had it and, you know, were able to get out and walk and, you know, slowly rehab and everything else. And they they absolutely swear by it, so. I am wishing you all the best and just uh, know that, you know, I've, I've had my teachers go through it and they have really liked it. 
Well, that's awesome. I, you know, I was only going to take a week and a half because I'm like, well, I can do this. But the doctor said, you know, I don't want you to rush things. And I'm thinking, you know, I really want to milk this. So, <laughs> so I can stay home and dive in <laughs> and get paid. <laughs> um, so Beth says it's called a lazy arm mystery. So again, okay. we're getting that popping thing that we were getting this morning. Can I get it from Best Buy? Because again, I bought this arm and it just, it wasn't expensive and I was just trying it out and yeah, it did not work out. So. I'm wondering, um, Carrick, maybe you could go out and come back in again because I'm getting that popping thing. I know. Okay. Uh, let me do that. I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. Yeah, guys, this this afternoon when we practiced, we were getting this crackling, and I thought it was on my end, but it seems like it might be on her end. So hopefully this is going to work out. So sorry for that. Let's see. Okay, well, let's see how long we can go without crackling. <laughs> I know, exactly. Sorry, I'm trying to... Again, so I'm, I'm curious, what um, age are your kids? What school age are you in? My kids, my youngest is 18. Yes, he's a senior of 2020. And we're trying to make it as best we can. for. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, you know, he's he's been okay, but he's had some struggles. You know, he's like, Mom, I could care less about senior proms. It's just all about the girls and their dresses and the drama. He goes, but I've worked for 12 years for this. And I went, I know, son, I know. But I said, you don't want to see me on a ventilator and I don't want to see you on a ventilator. So we're going to have to, you know, work this out there. Our school district is planning on doing something for the seniors later on. But there are lots of drive-by parades and I mean, people are just trying to make the best of it. And that's all we can Aww. do. I can't even imagine because my senior year was the best, you know. Of course, I was living in Florida. We did the trips to Disney. You know, we did all kinds of cool things. So, in oh. fact, my, my senior prom was at Disney. So, <laughs> I went oh, to well, I went to high school in Orlando. So that's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of a location. Yeah, but I can't imagine no graduation. Wow. I mean, so I, I mean, think they're trying to do something, and again. You know, I tell people all the time, they're like, well, how's this virtual online school and how are you doing this? And I'm on every Zoom meeting of every hour of every day. I'm sick of Zoom, I'm sick of it. I'm just, oh, <laughs> anyway, it's a love-hate relationship with Zoom because I do need to connect with my teachers. And, you know, so I'm on and I'm on classroom meetings just to pop in and say hi. And the kids get really excited. And Marlon's like, how much longer are you going to be at your computer? And I'm like, all day, all day. On um, Zoom meetings. Oh my God. And again, it's a love hate because I understand the necessity for it. And, you know, you've got to connect with your people and lead them through these times because teachers are uncertain and, you know, what grades do I give? And this kid hasn't engaged at all in online learning. What do I do? And I'm like, give them an incomplete, do it out, make it back. You know, I'm trying to make it easy for them, but I have to engage with them if I want, you know, want to do that. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just tough is, you know, the mom of a senior that, you know, has finally, he figured out his sophomore year that a little fairy did not come down and grade his papers. So <laughs> your, effort, your effort equals your grade. You know, someone doesn't just randomly decide your grade and, and, and he's worked really hard. He's working two jobs now. I told him if he saved for a car and I believe this and, you know, my parents, had you know the money to buy me a car like I do too but I'm like nope you're gonna work for it if you want it you're gonna work for it and it teaches them something so I said if you save up half I'll pay the other half and so he's working two jobs right now he doesn't have anything else to do so um you know to save for a car 
but yeah, he's just kind of bummed and, you know, he wants to get into the engineering program at Texas A&M University. Um, and I found him a program. You have to be in the top 10% of your class to get into Texas A&M University in Texas. Oh, wow. And he's, he's in the top half and he's making really good grades, all A's and B's, but he's not in the top 10%. I mean, in Katy with 3000 people in your class, you're, you know, it's hard. So he found a program that he's been accepted into where you go two years to uh, Houston Community College and Houston Community College has partnered with Texas A&M to do this engineering program. So essentially he's going to have two years at uh, HCC, which I think is going to be good for him because he'll be at home and we can kind of teach him how to study and be a college student. And then he gets to go to a and um, you know, pending grades and everything else. And he will get to graduate with an engineering degree from Texas A&M, which is amazing. And oh, that's, that's awesome. what he wants to do. Yeah. And that probably looks really good on a resume. I'm sorry? I'm sure that will look fantastic on his resume. Yes. Yes, for sure. And, you know, he's done everything he can as far as, I mean, he's volunteered at my school to get white cords as far as volunteering to graduate because I'm like right now universities don't just want your grades they want to see did you have a job did you make a contribution in the community what did you do for others and that's what I've seen as far as the trend in the last 10 years is colleges want to see what you're doing for other people so he's done all that and you know again that's why it's kind of such a bummer for for me and for him because he's he's actually I mean he was at my school all last summer building bookshelves for my language arts teachers because we got a new uh, adoption of classroom novels and they had they needed bookshelves and he built them all and spent a lot of time up at the school doing that because he wanted to wear those white cords and he's going to you know, get to wear them. We just don't know when. Oh, wow. So Beth said she will send you a link uh, at Amazon for that arm thing. Good. Okay. Thank you. And uh, GMR says, I worked and saved up for my first car. My dad chipped in on the other half. You appreciate it more if you pay for it yourself. Oh my God. My dad bought me my first car. And when I saw it, I cried. It was the ugliest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> it was so I had, bad. I had a Datsun station wagon as my first car that I promptly wrecked. And oh no! This, he gave me the Boston station wagon. Well, I was trying to turn left onto a busy street without a light, <clears throat> and ran into. I'm not kidding. I was so scared. Ran into a thunderbird. A thunderbird. <laughs> this woman was driving it. And she had to be 60 or 70. Her mother was in the car with her. Called my dad. I'm never going to drive again. And he was like, "Yes, you will. It's okay." And then, you know, I was working at the time. He's like, "All right, I'll get you a new car. Like this one's totaled. <laughs> I mean, you run into a Thunderbird, you're essentially bouncing off of it. You're done." Um, but he said, "You know, I'll I'll pay half for it, but you have to work." And I and I worked. That's what I did. And, you know, I got it. And and you know, people are right. You do appreciate it more when you have to put in some time to, to, to get what you want. So. So uh, you were telling me earlier, this is funny. Her husband tried to play golf today. <laughs> yes. Unsuccessfully. Yeah. Apparently everyone was had the same thought. Correct. Which I, I find very funny. The guys could not wait to get to the golf course. Well, and I mean, this golf course is in Galveston, Texas. It's kind of far out there. And he was like, okay, I'm not going to go to the popular ones in Houston. I'll go to the one in Galveston. And yeah, they were packed. So he came home. <laughs> <laughs> All the guys were trying to get out of the house today. Yes. yes That's sure. funny. <laughs> 
GMR says, oh, yeah, my car was secondhand, a total bomb. Oh, man. Yeah, mine, oh, good God. My uh, my dad could not have found an uglier car. It needed, a. it looked like someone had set that car on fire and then put it out and then just didn't get it repaired. It looked like it did, oh, it was just horrible. And it was, a, I don't even remember, like, I think it was, if they called it an Opal, I don't know, something that nobody ever drives anymore. It was just awful. Okay, so Rebecca, I'm sorry, I didn't finish about my oldest son. So my oldest is 25 and just got out of the Marines and has been accepted into the Houston Fire Department. So that's what he's going to do. I'm like, oh, great, you're trading one dangerous job for another one. Fantastic. <laughs> what did he do in the Marines? He was artillery and infantry. Oh, and, good God. Um, fortunately, fortunately, he got sent. It was funny. He called and he was like, Mom. I'm going to Fuji. And I'm like, son, do you mean Fiji? He's like, no, mom, Fuji. I'm like, oh, that's no fun. Um, but he's been sent several places, deployed several places, but they have not been dangerous, which has been a blessing. So so where is Fuji? Japan, Mount Fuji. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. They froze their butts off. They did. Why are we in Japan? Or is it we, we just have a base there? We have a base there. He said that people were not very nice to them. I'm uh, like, well, oh, sorry. I know my I son know. went to Korea and just froze his butt off. Yeah. Yeah. I he mean, said, they actually had them on Mount Fuji in tent. And he's like, Mom, I stayed awake all night to make sure I didn't die of freezing. I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. The firefighter is a cool job. So how many kids do you have total? I have two. I have two boys. Oh, so the two boys. Okay. Oh, so they're grown. That's awesome. You're going to have an empty nest there soon. Well, I mean, again, my husband and I, um, you know, Marlon is a second marriage. Um, we share custody, so we kind of have an empty nest sometimes and don't at other times. And when they come over, we're so excited that they're there. And then when they leave, we're like, oh, relief. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I can't imagine how people are dealing with stuff. I mean, you know, I've got teachers right now that are trying to do online classes with their own children and trying to be the online person that's getting assignments up for their own own kids in their classrooms oh wow i can't even imagine first of all if i had to homeschool my kids they would be in trouble because i don't understand like the new math any of that stuff i just i don't get it so well and the funny part is we've all as principals gotten emails from parents I'm hereby tendering my resignation as your child, as my child's uh, online teacher. This is not the job for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, then some of them are sending us stuff. You said my child is a pleasure to have in class. You lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a hard enough time getting my son to sit down and do homework. I can't even imagine homeschooling. I mean, he, it would just be a disaster. Well, I will tell you, for Teacher Appreciation Week yesterday, and I had a little bit of a health scare on Thursday. I started running a fever. It was nothing. I got tested. My doctor sent the COVID test in stat. I don't have COVID. I'm fine. It's just sinus nonsense. And I mean, God, the whole district is acting like I have the plague. And I'm like, I don't have anything. Here's yeah. the paperwork. I'm good with just sinuses. But they had a teacher appreciate the last week was teacher appreciation or this week was teacher appreciation week. And um, they had cars with kids and teachers or and parents lined up. The teachers lined up outside the, the school. There were kids crying. I mean, parents crying. I mean, they want to be back in school so bad. It's really sad. Aww. And then pretty soon they'll be off for the summer. Do you think they'll get back into school for the next school year? We don't know. But, you know, it's funny. I always tell my teachers, never forget your why. Never forget 
at your why. Why are you doing this job on the days that it gets stressful and you have kids eating your lunch and, you know, making stuff hard for you? Remember your why. Why did you get into this? And I think through this, it's forced teachers to remember their why. Because all the kids want to be back in school. And I think if they came back, um, the ones that, and I'm at a great school. I mean, we have a great clientele, we're upper middle class parents. If their kids aren't making it, get tutors. They're very involved. I have a wonderful PTA. I mean, I seriously talk about Disneyland. I'm in Disneyland as far as a school. But there are still kids that, you know, again, no school is perfect and you got to work with kids and everything else. But <clears throat> I think if those specific kids came back and got to come back and we've made personal home visits, we've done caravans through neighborhoods and dropped off Chromebooks and library books and snacks. And just, we love you cards to those students that we know were a little bit troubled, maybe have anxiety, depression, that sort of thing. And they have responded so well. Creative Mayhem, hey girl. I'm sorry? Oh, I was saying hi to Michelle, Creative Mayhem. Oh, hi, Michelle. So, Kevin is going to be at the retreat with all of us. It's going to be so much fun. Man, if that thing gets canceled, I'm going to just sit there and cry. <laughs> Me too. I mean, my I'm just so looking forward to it. I'm to that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I, as soon as I got my tax return check, man, I just wrote uh, Marissa a check. I'm like, here you go. Take all my money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to go. Hopefully by October. I mean, you got to think. This is possible. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just wishful thinking. I don't know. Well, I don't know. They, they interviewed a doctor on the news tonight from Italy and things have really calmed down there. But one of the things he said that has made a difference is there, you know, that again, the outside social distancing, you know, so I, yeah. I don't know. We'll again, see. Are they, still, are they still social distancing in Italy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's, that's important. And they started way before we did. And now we're opening everything back up. So people are now back in salons. They're back in, in hair salons, nail salons. Restaurants can have 25% of people there. I'm like, yeah, no. I, I just wouldn't risk it. I really wouldn't. The only thing I might risk is my little dog needing a haircut so bad. <laughs> Did you see my video when I unboxed? I can't remember what I unboxed, but I'm like, I'm officially ombre. Ombre meaning dark brown and gray hair versus highlights versus dark red right at the bottom. So yeah, I've got all different kinds of colors going on. It's not pretty. I'll be in a baseball <laughs> cap until I can get my hair done. Yeah, well, I I decided to go to to red for some god awful reason. And you know it's bad when people look at you and they're like, oh, how nice. Yeah. <laughs> what they, your hair is. I'm like, yeah, um, I'll be putting it back under a baseball cap. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> or they don't say anything at all. And you know they see it. I mean, it's bright orange. How do you not see it? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so, okay, yeah. Rebecca, I'm going to hop out of this and come back on because you're breaking up again. So let me just. Okay. Hop out and hop back on. Okay. So, guys, while we're waiting for her to come back, oh, Shine's going to risk doing her nails, girl. Okay, she'll just wear four masks. You're going to die. You're. I had the mask on today while I went grocery shopping, and I thought I was going to die of heat. I don't know how people wear those masks all day long. Oh my God. I was sweating. It, oh, it was horrible. Um, and it was just like a light cotton material that I made the mask out of, but it, Jesus, just so uncomfortable. And yeah, guys, don't forget to sign up for the mystery diamond painting exchange. Um, go into, you have to join the Facebook group crafting journey. 
There's a sign up in there. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So if you're not signed up, the deadline is uh, the 15th, which is uh, next week. Well, you know, Friday, I think. Friday? Yeah, Friday. Um, after that, I will pick random partners for people. So it's going to be awesome. There's my Facebook group. Thank you, Odd. Odd is the best moderator ever. Um, Beth, do like I do and get Maddie to do your nails. Oh, no. Oh, I could get Malia to do my nails. Oh, dear. She did my makeup once and I cried. It was horrible. <laughs> of course, she, you know, she was playing with grandma. That's, you know, um, Beth says, yeah, we have to wear a mask for 10 hours a day at work. Oh, my God, Beth, no. I would die from the heat. Oh, Jen just signed up. Yay, Jen. Beth says, I know I got hot, too. I feel bad for the nurse and docs and all the frontliners that wear them eight hours straight. Yeah, well, you know, you don't see them in the back rooms with them hanging down on their face, you know, hanging off their ears because they don't have it on. <laughs> we had a meeting the other day. Um, a leadership meeting and everybody came in with their mask on and we had to sit in every other chair. And by the end of the meeting, everybody mask was hanging from their face because it's just so damn hot. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. All right. Let me bring her back in, but don't forget to sign up for the mystery diamond painting. And um, I have another thing coming too. We're going to be doing um, diamond art addiction and I, in August, a book club. It's going to be done on Zoom on the weekends, not Saturday, because that's Marissa's Zoom. And <laughs> Care Bear is going to laugh because she hates Zoom. But um, on probably on Sunday mornings, we're going to do a Zoom book club for that new book coming out, um, the new Twilight book. And we can all sit and diamond paint and chit chat about the new book. But that's what's coming. That book comes out in August. So be looking for it. I don't remember the name of it. Somebody in chat, I'm sure does. All right, let me bring in Care Bear again. Okay, let's try Hi. this again. <laughs> okay, I've been listening to you. Okay, so are you going to link where we can go? Just go to your Facebook group and sign up for the partnership? Yes, yes. Um, once you join the Facebook group, You'll okay. see the announcement and you can um, sign up for either group A or group B. Group A is if you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, you know, really what you need to do. And group B is like if you want to spend, um, you know, more than $20, you know, get a larger painting, which a lot of people do. But really what you should do is once you're picked with your partner, you know, get with that partner and you guys decide, you know. Here's where we want to order from. Here's what I like. You know, here's how much I want to spend. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And, you know, just make it fun. It, it's a great opportunity to meet people. I am part of the Mystery Diamond Painting Fun Facebook group. And I have met some really terrific people through that group. Just well, and again, I have creators that I'd love to partner with, but again, this is an opportunity to meet someone new, maybe that was new like me and just wondering about stuff and a chance to help. I mean, I was, I was helped by so many people and I'm happy to help somebody else that might, you know, want to ask questions. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I am done with that color. Yay. Awesome. I'm just looking to see if anybody put the name of that book in there. Mystery says I've read all the stuff. Oh, Jen knows the name of the book. It's called Midnight Sun. This is going to be fun. Twilight is putting out a new book. I've read it, it all. Like, I thought yeah, it comes out in August. So uh, Diamond Art Addiction and I are doing a book club. It's going to be fun. But I know you don't like Zoom, but... No, but I love reading and books. And, you know, by that time, I won't be in so many Zoom meetings. So it won't be so bad. <laughs> and I, again, I've read all the Twilight books. Oh, yeah. So then you're going to love it. You're going to love it. In oh, fact, my godmother, my godmother lives in Pensacola, Florida. And her, uh, her son, her youngest son, was in the last Twilight movie. What did he do? He was an extra 
in the big fight scene at the end. Oh, God. Still see it. <laughs> I hated that oh. scene. <laughs> I know. I hated it, too. But I had to watch it with her to see him. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I really, I just didn't care for that scene. I, you know, ugh. I'll watch um, the movie. I watched the movie over and over again, part one, you know, Breaking Dawn part one, because I just love the wedding and, the, you know, the whole. But part two, I'm not, I don't go crazy over part two. <laughs> yeah. We had a big controversy in our library. And I mean, because again, there were elementary kids wanting to check out these books. And the first one, okay, but. There were some down the line where I'm like, this is yeah, no, 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 no. It gets to be reading. Yeah, no, it gets pretty mature towards uh, the last book, yes. So, anyhow, we worked it out, but yeah, there are parents protesting the book in the library and going, look. No, really? Oh, yeah. Well, the last few, I mean, again, these are, you know, five-year-olds to ten-year-olds at a school, and I'm like, uh, even though your parents are okay with you reading it, I read them all just because they were so wildly popular and went, yeah, probably not something elementary kids should be reading at some parts, but, you know, if you're a parent that wanted to give permission and you were okay with it, okay, you're going to have to explain some things to your kids, but... <laughs> Why is the bed broken, Mommy? <laughs> Their feathers flying everywhere, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> How did she get pregnant, mom? Right. They've only been married a week. Because, yeah, I'm not explaining that. So, yeah, that's the conversation I want to have at that age. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. There were lots of parents going, I give permission for my child. And I'm like, okay. Oh, for Are heaven's sake. to have a well, that tells me they A, didn't read it, or B, they're, yeah, I don't know. They just don't care. I don't know. And it's kind of like, you know, Harry Potter. Harry Potter was the same thing. To have a Harry Potter book because they were so thick and so big was a status symbol to carry around at an elementary school. Just like, look at the big book I'm reading. Oh, you know, yeah. People were like, oh, okay. You yeah, know, I'll I wait for the movie. Reading it. What? I'll wait for the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, re I read them and watched the movies. I loved Harry Potter. So did you think they were appropriate for that age group? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't I didn't see a problem at all. The worst thing that happened in the books was, you know, if you're not a magical person, you might take offense to it. And then Harry and Hermione kiss in one of the later books. That's about it. So... Yeah, I mean, there wasn't anything in it that I found. I mean, again, there were parents that did not want their children reading the books because they were extremely religious and did not believe in that type of genre for literature, which was perfectly, you know, there's there's always something that, you know, that's fine. Don't allow your child to read it. And what our parents couldn't understand is they would be checking these books out and the parents like, well, I don't want them to check it out. And I'm like, well, we don't. You know, we don't censor books. If they come home with a book and you don't want them to have it, then take it from them and bring it back and we'll check it back in and they can check something else out. But we're not, we don't. Yeah, not, I was going to ask if you books. like had a list, you know, if the librarian had a list. Okay, wait a minute. You're on this list. You can check that out. I mean, that's very cumbersome, you know. Right. But again, you know, librarians are very opinionated and should be um, about book censoring. Kids should be able to pick out the books they want to read. And if their parents don't want them to read it, then you, you need to figure out what your kid's reading. Yeah. And we're not the parents. So these books have been approved by the district and the state for this age group. So if you don't want that, then send it back. Oh, God. Mystery said, at least that's better than having to answer questions about Fifty Shades of Grey. The middle school teacher oh, can't contend with that. Oh, my God. Now, they did not need to be reading Fifty Grades of Shades of Grey. No, 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 no. Oh, my so, goodness. Fifty Shades of Grey was not in our library, but I started the series and quit at the second book. I mean, really? Oh, I, was I thought it was such a great love story. <laughs> I was just bored going, okay, how much nookie can we have at every other page? I was like, okay. 
<laughs> Not real life, huh? <laughs> I want a plot here. I want something that, you know, helps me connect to the characters or whatever. And I'm like, y'all are having sex every three pages. I, I'm, I'm done. Uh, Mindy says the third book was the best. It was, Mindy. And it had <laughs> such a good ending. It was a love story. So, oh, well. What's she talking about? A Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Again, watch the I movie. Just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, the movie was, yeah. Mm, once anyway. again, I have mixed up drills. Oh, I do this all the time. Goodness gracious. Did you mix up drills? Yes, I have light and dark blue in the same container. So, wow. Like I said, my last Chuck Pinson, I did it with three different colors. Oh, for three heaven's sake. Three different colors, and I'm like, oh. So I'm physically picking them out with tweezers. Yay me. Yeah. I think the other one is this color here. I think. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah. You know what? Don't tell anybody, Rebecca, but in the end, um, my Chuck Pinson, I probably had several drills in the wrong places. No one's going to notice. No one. Well, yeah. I mean, this thing, it had two different arrows that went the same direction. You know, two two arrows in the same direction. So I'm used to arrows that you know, Diamond Art Club. All the arrows go different directions. So I, of course, I mixed these two drills up because I just saw an arrow and I figured, you know, I didn't see the other arrow. So I'm putting yellow where brown is supposed to be. It was, you know. Ridiculous. But I, I, picked, I picked it all out because it really did make a difference on that color. But some of the other colors today, I, I mixed up some light orange and regular orange, and I just didn't forget about it. It's just it's supposed to stay there. That's nope. just what you sort of do. And again, when you get done with the painting, it's the same. I mean, you know, if you mix up a few drills, no one's going to notice. I'm just trying to see if this is that. If this is it's just irritating because you're like you pour out the drills and I'm like okay I've got two different colors here that that oh again I'm a hidden type A and so that kind of stuff bugs me <laughs> all right so all right I found the other color all right so I'm just gonna pick out drills here <laughs> God. yes I think everyone is laughing because we've all been there and all done that Oh, like, oh hey, I did it again. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. And this, you know, when you have these big paintings, then you're wondering why are we running out of drills? Because you've got them all mixed up. Yes. And then I have a separate tray now that I'm doing on my big paintings that just when things pop out of other trays and I just find them randomly on my canvas. I'm like, okay, do these match up with anything? You know? Yeah, that's, that's when they just go in the jar and you use them later if you need them. Yeah. And I mean, aside from a couple of paintings, I've never really run out of drills. I just, uh, you know, and if I've run out, I've done Diamond Drills USA or just called the company and said, send them to me. But the problem is if it's a China company, you're gonna be waiting months for those drills and you want to finish your painting. So I just normally go, I'm calling Diamond Drills USA. <laughs> so Mindy said, wait a minute, Mystery says she is one of the few people that hasn't read them yet. What have you not read, Mystery? You have not read Fifty Shades of Grey? Is that what you're talking about? Holy moly. <laughs> My daughter, she is a surgical technician. Okay. So she um, she she calls me up one day and she goes, "Mom, you know, because she did she does facelifts all day long, facelifts for these rich people, these old ladies." And so she calls me up one day and she goes, "Mom, this I need to know. I need to know your daughter. I'm not rich, but I need to know your daughter." Uh, well, she that's when she was living in Delray Beach, but now in Florida, but now she's moved to, to North Carolina and I think she's doing something different now. But 
So she tells, she calls me up and she goes, mom, this lady was coming out of anesthesia and she was talking about these books. Um, I mean, this was like this really old lady talking about 50 Shades of Grey coming out of an anesthesia. Of yeah. Was and about 50 Shades of Grey? Yeah, and my daughter said it was just so funny because she was coming out of anesthesia and she was like being real specific about this book. So, so my daughter's like, wow. we gotta read these, mom. <laughs> like I said, I got the second or third one and abandoned it because I was like, okay, I'm I'm done with all the. I mean, again, there was no plot really towards the end. I'm going, can you guys please stop going at it and like. Talk to me about your life, your personality, your family, whatever. Yeah, no. Yeah, and they'd known each other like a week, you know, a total through all the movies. You know, if you if you add it all up, it was like two weeks in their life. Right. And the first one <laughs> was kind of racy and kind of, oh, 50 Shades of Grey, I've got to get it and whatever. But you got to the second or third one, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm tired. Well, I went to bed with my book, so... <laughs> I did too, but then I fell asleep because I'm like, okay, enough of this. I'm exhausted. Thank you yes, very much. Yes, and she only read the first one and then she lost interest uh, in it. Yeah, I understand. But the book club's going to be good because it's going to be the next Twilight. And who doesn't love Twilight? Goodness gracious. I love it. I love it. I was going to say, did you see the movie, The Book Club, with Jane Fonda and all them? Oh my gosh, yes. When they had to read 50 Shades of Grey. So yes. fun. So funny. It was hysterical. The only thing missing was Lily Tomlin. Because you know Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin are best friends in real life, right? Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I mean, I have watched every episode of Grace and Frankie on Netflix. And it's Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. And Jane Fonda is straight laced kept herself up, make up the clothes. She's, of course, got her incredible body, everything. Lily oh, Tomlin yeah. is a pot-smoking, hippie flower child. <laughs> well, their husband both divorced them because they're gay. And they leave Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda for each other. Oh, my God. And so Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin end up living together. It, if you want a new Netflix series, to watch, that is hysterical. It's hysterical. I'm, I'm actually looking for something new to watch. Somebody suggested something yesterday, and I sat down to watch it, and I hated it. What was it? It was called The Omen. It was on Amazon Prime. Okay, I've not seen that. The it, other was one just, it was just beyond stupid. It was, yeah, it was just stupid. The other one I finished is Shit's Creek. Oh. That was good? Oh my gosh, yes. It's the Levy guy, the uh, Daniel Levy, and I can't remember the dad's name, but it's about a family that are bazillionaires. They have a huge mansion, complex, whatever, and they somehow, their, I guess, financial advisor doesn't pay taxes, and everything gets taken away, and the only thing that is left to their name, besides a little bit of money, is a town that the dad bought for the son as a joke on his birthday. He bought a town and it was called Shit's Creek. And so these bazillionaires, and I mean, it's the mom and the dad, um, Maureen, oh God, she played in Home Alone. Can't remember, but she's so funny. Um, Levy's in it. And then the son and the daughter, and they're all spoiled rotten. And they oh, go I've this, got a, like, is that on Netflix? Hotel. Oh, it's so funny. Is that Netflix? It is Netflix, yes. Oh, okay. So I'm going to watch that. I'm, I'm trying to wrap all these shows up. I'm going to watch next week, so. Yeah. I mean, the sisters, like, you know, Kim Kardashian, David, oh, my God, this is last season's purse. What am I going to do? I'm like, oh, you are not a flea bag motel. Do you get what's happening here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So tell me about what are your plans for your channel? Do you have plans or... Um, right now, again, I'm in the middle of the collab with Mindy and Maritza. Um, and then Mystery Ed, Brandy and I are going to do a collab in June. Um, like I've said, I, 
I would love to do lives, but don't want to step on anybody's toes. So I'm just going to have to get some sort of spreadsheet or whatever on who's doing what, when to see if I can, if I can do that. If I can, it's not a big deal. Well, um, we, we actually have one. I don't know. The most recent person to work on that was Pippa Brown. If you want to get with her. Okay. Um, I worked on it for a little while until people started hating me for it. So I, I dropped it like a hot cake. <laughs> so. Well, again, you know, people shouldn't hate you for that. You're trying to keep everything straight and to keep people from, I mean, you know, again, no. you know, people that have channels don't know, and then they might step on somebody else's toes. I don't want to do that. I don't well, you know, it's, it's, it's Google Sheets, the the thing. It's, yeah. It was done in Google Sheets. And some people overlap. So, you know, it might look like you're only on for 30 minutes because you're overlapping somebody else. So right. people got all, you know, that, you know, people that don't understand Google Sheets, I guess, or don't understand overlaps got all, you know, their hair all in a dander. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explain Google Sheets to you guys, okay? If you want to be mad at me, you go ahead. There's some people that still don't talk to me because of that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. That's insane. You know, my thing is, we're all adults. We can all figure it out. And you know what? I'm with Sherry of Diamond Art Addiction. If you have a problem of something I've done just come to me and say it and we'll, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. And if I have to move, I'll move. And you know, if I'm doing something that offends you, okay. But, um, you know, we've, we've just all got to, you know, work all that out. Um, but yeah, that's what I've heard as a new creator is my God, don't step on somebody else's live because they're going to be mad at you. And I'm like, okay, I'll try not to, but if I do, I hope that person can come to me civilly and we can work it out. And if I am stepping on your toes, I'll change to another deal. That's again, that's, that's the reason I, I'm not going live right now. I'm just it's not because I'm, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. I think um, earlier in the week is better right now, but I, I mean, I, I can't, can't say for sure because I don't obviously go to every live. So um, yeah. But and that's what you yeah, have to. I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch with Pippa. I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you because again, yeah. you're just trying to, everything straight and I mean why would someone not uh, anyway well yeah and, you know and people kept asking you know who goes live on what night and that's the purpose that's the reason I did it you know to so that pe subscribers could see you know who's live on what night and boy I got so much flack for that thing I just said yeah forget it never mind no good I deed goes did. unpunished mm -hmm. Maybe I'm not thinking this whole thing through and, you know, not being logical. However, aren't you trying to help people, like, you know, find out and maybe give uh, someone a subscriber yeah. by going to the live? That's what yeah. I Yeah, you would think. <laughs> you would okay. think. But, I you know. know. I, work with, I work with junior high girls. Adults need to be adults. We don't need to be acting like junior high girls. But <gasps> Put your big girl panties on. Uh -oh. Right. But again, if someone is, has upset you or whatever, go to them and be an adult and say, hey, this is my time and you've done something. Okay. Most people, I mean, again, the people I've met through this community will work with you. They'll be kind. They'll make changes and say, oh, so sorry. didn't know that. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll make it better. Just, you know, just go to the person. Yeah, Shine says there's too many creators to not overlap anybody. Go when you want to go, and the subscribers that want to watch you will come. That's my thought on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, if they want to see you, they'll come. That's, you know, that's how I feel. Um, you know, that's why and I stay way, on Saturdays. You know, they, you know, people will watch whoever they want to watch. Well, and even if they come to half your live, okay, they can toggle back and forth through lives. Oh, I mean, yeah. Is that a problem? No, and I'm you can watch replays. It's not a big deal. Right. Hmm. But well, I love this stream. We'll you can have more than one person in the live. That, that's what I like, you know, so we can interact together. And don't even get me started on Zoom because I know you're not crazy about it. But we had a Zoom meeting today that was so much fun. 
Marissa set it up. We've had, we've actually had virtual happy hours of staff. That's been fun on Zoom. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah, the, um, it was Everybody's really in their backyard with their wine or their whatever. I mean, oh wow! Like, I mean, there have been a lot of people that have interacted with that. So I mean, again, it's a love hate relationship. I just, I just, I'm a social person. I want to be back at work. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Suzanne says, um, oh, Robert's back. Welcome back, Robert. Suzanne says, there's a couple of I don't watch anymore. Oh, okay. Well, we won't get into that. <laughs> you know, everybody's different. You know, every it's it, there's a wide variety. Uh, you know, all people are different. You know, it's just a matter of your taste, you know. Well, and again, like I've said on my channel, I've tried to promote kindness and will continue to promote kindness. And, you know, if you don't click with somebody, if, you know, just unsubscribe and fade out quietly. Don't make rude comments. Don't be mean, whatever. Just don't watch them anymore. It's very simple. You know, oh, you don't yeah. have to be ugly or, or rude or whatever. And there have been, I mean, not many, but there have been a couple of, people that I just haven't clicked with and I've just sort of faded away and I haven't said a word and, you know, just didn't click with them. And, you know, that was it. So I just, I don't think you should take somebody to, to the cleaners because you, you're, you know, they're not your cup of tea and that, you know, that's what we all need to be mindful of is, you know, just unsubscribe, don't watch them. That's it. You, you don't have to be mean. That's how I got my Instagram name. Have you seen my Instagram name? No. What is it? That, that P H A T underscore journey underscore chick. <laughs> I love it. Because someone did a whole video about that journey chick. So instead of, you know. Was that you? That journey chick? That's me. I'm that journey chick. Oh. No, I didn't. Okay, do so what? Okay, is journey like your journey as a diamond painter, or are you a, the journey band fan? No, no, my journey as a crafter. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, someone else did a whole video on about me uh, and calling me that journey chick. So um, I just I made the best of it and I made it my Instagram name. That's all you can do. Well, I do. And I love it. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a great Instagram name. What's the matter? Did we lose you? Are you there? Yeah. Rebecca? Oh, she lost us. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, we can still see you. Oh, well. We lost her. Okay, well, there you are. Go out and come back in. I think she's having issues with her camera. We got to get her a better camera set up. We can hear you. You're in the dark. Hang on. Am I back? I can hear you. Can you see me? I can. can you you never me? left. Oh, okay. I got a phone call and thought I lost you. I'm sorry. No, no, you were there. Um, you just couldn't hear me. Okay. So yeah, the journey chick. That's okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to finish your diamond okay. painting. Woohoo! Oh, see, somebody got through an entire diamond painting during my my live. I am so happy for you, Nareda. She's working on the coolest diamond painting. Um, it's this girl that has like this orange hair and she's holding an orange and it's just so colorful and pretty. Ooh, I want to see it. And poor Nareda is stuck in the middle of New York City and has been in her house for days and days and days and I just feel so bad for her. Hmm. That's just I will tell you, Nareda, you've got the best, the best governor in New York 
ever. I love him. Love oh, me him. too. Me too. He's one tough cookie and he's not putting up with a lot of nonsense, which is nice. So he's doing a lot of stuff our president should have done, you know? Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> At the risk of sounding political, yes, yes. But I really mm -hmm. like him and I like his views and um, what he's doing. I mean, he every single presentation that he does, he's got a PowerPoint, he's got facts, he's got he's got his his stuff together. He really does. So oh, I'm proud of him. That dirty chick is awesome. Instagram name. I love it. Shawana, hey girl. Oh, I don't know if you're have you met Shawana yet? I have just heard her name pronounced Shawana. <laughs> I she, have not. She has the coolest channel. She puts up these uh diorama type things. Um that what she makes they, what, and they're so they cool doing? and then she does these music things where you can just sit and listen to music she has That's a so very cool. very cool channel. channel do you know her channel name it's that um it's the same as what it is there shawana's creative circle okay. it is awesome I'm and she's she's funny. Oh my god, is she funny? She ordered this wow. diamond art club. She ordered a diamond art club painting, one of those princesses that are like nine feet long. And yes, I have two. I'm like, what the heck? Am I she rolled it out on the floor and laid down next to it. I was just, I was dying. It was so funny. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne says, Illinois governor is also good. Trump doesn't like him because he lets him know he isn't doing his job. Yeah. Oh, my God. Donald Trump. Oh. Risk of sounding too political. We'll get away from that topic. <laughs> yeah. I, I, honest to God, it's just such a disappointment. Ugh. Well, not really, because I never had much expectation there to begin with, so... Well, and what Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Mode is saying is her, her uh, Michigan governor is kicking butt. She's doing great. And she's got a lot of pressure on her. And she is still doing very well. Have they opened Go. up that state yet, Michigan? Did they what? Michigan was being super strict. Have they opened it up at all? No, Mindy's been allowed to go up to her classroom, and this is really sad because Mindy's retiring from te teaching this year. And uh, I know. She had to go up to her out. Uh, it, it broke my heart to listen in her live tonight. I was like, oh, I can't imagine. Oh, guys, hearts for Mindy. She had to go pack her office, and she's retiring. Yeah, and, you know, and then she was talking about taking her name off the door and was very teary, and I'm like, oh, Aww. it's hard. It's just hard. It really is. But again, when I go back to my kid and he's like, but I wanted to graduate. This was supposed to be a special year. And, and I'm like, I don't want to see you on a respirator. I don't. Oh, gosh. And now they've got that kid's illness. That it, oh, gosh. Yeah. Don't even get me started. Yes, that weird virus. Yeah. What is that? I don't know if Minnie's still in the chat, but if she is, you know, I... I can't even imagine what you're what you're going through, but you know, oh, that had to be tough, and to do it all by yourself, you know, oh my goodness. Well, her husband came up and helped her for a little bit, but our teachers, when they're packing up their classrooms, um, I've allowed twenty five. I've done it alpha split. They come up, you know, Monday these letters, Tuesday these letters, Wednesday Thursday. They can't have anyone with them no one no outside people whatsoever like no husbands no kids no nothing so they have to do it by themselves so are you screening people as they come in the building no we're not screening people uh but you must wear a glove uh, you must wear gloves and a mask when you come in and oh, if wow. you don't have them on i'm kicking them out and they they all have had them we all have had them like everyone's taking it very seriously. So every staff member that comes up has gloves and a mask on. And, yeah. you know, 
Elizabeth says Michigan just extended the quarantine lockdown till June first. Oh my God! Wow. J. Rob, I'm sure she wants to get out of the house too. Wow. Well, like I said, bless all you people that have been looking at the top of my head tonight. Because yeah, I, I got to get to a hair salon really quick. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look bad. I guess your lighting is doing really well. <laughs> uh, Nareda says Kawasaki. Yeah, they are saying that disease is very similar to Kawasaki disease, but because you know all the marks on their uh, the red marks on the kids and stuff. Yeah. Wow. And again, it's you know it's it's kids. And it's scary. I mean, they're going into heart failure and everything else. And I'm going, well, kids didn't think they could be affected. So they were, you know, grandma made them face masks and then they went out on their skateboards and took off the face mask. And now look. Well, and again, you know, when you get a virus of any kind, you know, including coronavirus, they're already, they're already secondary viruses waiting in the wings. Like, some people get strep and then get hand, foot, and mouth disease as a result of it. It just yeah. is a secondary thing or a rash or whatever. So it's like, what is this? That's scary. Robert says, I love it. Robert, what do you love? We're talking about all kinds of weird things. What do you love, honey? <laughs> Robert love? I, I hope he doesn't love Kawasaki's disease. This is a show, girl. You can't see any ombre gray. Oh, um, yeah, just see nice brunette hair. You, you're so good, girl. Oh my goodness. I love you, Miss Brady. So cute. Oh my goodness. I'll just call you Brandy. I can't pronounce it. I'll just call you Brandy. <laughs> I'm so used to calling her. Mistria. Yes. But I always want to say mystery and it's Mistria. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like I mix up, I do, I mix up Beth and Jen all the time. They sound alike. They're good friends. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I said Jen, I meant Beth. Ugh. <laughs> so, guys, Kara is at... 297 subscribers. Let's get her over 300 before we leave tonight. If you don't want to come back to the channel, that's good because we're getting ready to sign off. But go over to um, Kara's channel. What is the name of your channel? The official name? Because I've called it several different things. The Principal Painter. The Principal Painter. Go to that channel and subscribe. Let's get her to over 300 before she leaves today. Liz Thank says, I left so the house today for the first time since I'm March 9th. Like, she had to go to Joanne's to get safety noses, safety eye, and ribbons. Safety noses? What's a safety nose? I'm sure that, okay. My daughter got me sidetracked when she found the diamond dots. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. And Nareda says she oh, lives in a borough of New York City that has 48,000 confirmed cases. That's why Nareda hasn't left the house. Yeah, scary. Oh, can somebody put the link up to her channel? Yeah, Shawana's looking for the link. Creative subbed already. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys. Um, so, I don't know if we lost odd. We may have lost odd for the evening. Go to the principal painter and watch the dancing video. I had tears running down my face. Oh my God, girl. That yes. was funny. <laughs> People will be talking about that one forever. <laughs> well, and Marlon, of course, watches. He watch. He's the behind the scenes guy. So here he is. Hi, Marlon. He watches my behind the scenes stuff. He watches analytics. He watches everything, and he is watching these principal dancing challenges. And he's like, "They don't have anything on you." I'm like, "Okay, you're my husband. You're supposed to say that." 
Thank you. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, so Creative put the link in there. Thank you, Creative. I appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle. Oh, I put it up too. Yay! Okay, she was looking for it. She's so good. You guys are both great moderators. Thank you so much. So I'm going to say good night for the evening. Thank you, Kara, for taking time out of your day to be with us. Well, again, thank you for giving me the honor of being on here with you. I very much appreciate it. All right, let's just check. Now, we had a couple people subscribe. Let's, let's go see. Hold on. Let's look. We want to get you over the 300. Okay, you are at 300. Woohoo! Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca, so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, you are so welcome. All right, good night, everybody. Thank you for um, getting carried at 300. That's awesome. All right, we will see you later. Bye. Take care, everybody. Have a happy Mother's Day, everybody. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, go to the Facebook group, Mystery Diamond Painting. Take care. I'll see you guys next week, next Saturday. Take care.